Hi everyone, Jim Bennett and welcome back to Z Trails. Today we're doing the Kelvin Walkway. The trail is from Glasgow to Mogai. And that should take us about four hours or so. We'll see how the, the time goes. But it's a beautiful day. We've had very, very heavy rain. I'm starting from the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Beautiful place. And we'll take a, just a quick walk around the building. Many, many years ago, I used to work pretty close to here, uh, the West Marine Fire Station. And we used to turn out from here from time to time. And because of the architectural design, it always gave us the great challenges of making sure we maintained the integrity of the building and all the, the artifacts, etc., within it. And they put the fire out uh, quickly and rapidly. So let's have a, a little walk around this beautiful building in a beautiful summer's day. Let's commence our, our little journey. We're leaving the Kelm Grove Art Gallery, heading over into Kelm Grove Park, where we pick up the, the River Kelvin. And we have some pleasant walking through Kelm Grove Park along the water side, the Kelvin. There's been a lot of rain, it's been saying overnight. Very pleasant. We've got our morning joggers and runners, dog walkers, all easing along, keeping fitness up and running. That's it. Morning. Urban art as well. And we're having a shared path as we see here. Runners, cyclists, all on go. Tremendous. Nautical scene.
with their morning fitness routines with personal coaches all walks of life curiously curiously as I've been walking I've been saying good morning good morning to many people and I'm not sure if it's a COVID thing or whatever a few respond to me and say good morning very many divert their eyes away as if even speaking to me they're going to catch something really nasty a bit more elevated coming up from the riverside Runner ahead. A bit more elevated now. Uh, heading up. Runner ahead of us. And uh, get a wider view of the surroundings. It looks like a, a school or something up ahead. Keep on trucking. <laughs> okay. Good morning. And we open up into a nice space. Miracle. Wow, how it's changed over the years. In my younger days, I was, I say it, fire station in West Marine, and Knightswood, and we used to run up to this area, and uh, a lot of derelict property, a lot of old tenement buildings give them way to these skyscrapers whether the communities are still as, as active collaboration between each other I'm not so sure and where there's just little boxes where people have been and have been for many months within their shielding There we go. Beautiful day. One of these days it's <laughs> good to feel alive and vibrant. The beauty and the power of nature. The turbulence coming to one. Joining. And then flattening out. Fine. It's an hour or so from the Glasgow city centre. We're past the Botanic Gardens, heading further north. We'll be heading into the countryside soon. So a different uh, rationale. Curiously, I mentioned this about um, speaking and saying hello. In Mary Hill, people have said hello to me and passed the time of day, which is great. Second, because I don't think it came on very well there, but here you go, you can do your bit there. Hello, see. my name is Jack. <laughs> okay, Jack, thank you very much. Thank you very okay. much. Cheers. Nice to meet you. you. Bye now. Bye-bye. So we're at Cowell Road, 
at Loch Gilp Street. It's slightly confusing as to which side of the, the river are we walking on. The map I have shows the right hand side going north and we find this little pathway on our left. It's taking us back down to the Kelvin. It's not that clear. Uh, there's no signage. Or maybe I missed the trail. <laughs> it looks as if we've come underneath it. I've taken uh, another turning. And if you, f when we presume we follow main pathway, you come underneath it and we continue this way. Anyway, if we follow the trail, if you go off it like me, you'll find your way back again. <laughs> Just keeping and looking and watching. But again, this is relatively easy. You can't go wrong. Uh, most of the time we're on, at the moment, the right hand side going north of the river. Uh, I think later we go to the other side, but let's see how it goes. Well, that's us back on the main trail again, which is fine. Very nice. So, Mary Hill Station, seven minute walk, city centre. Well, city centre, 18 minutes by bike and 20 minutes to Mogai. There we go. I don't think people will be walking to the centre from here. <laughs> and there's some park passing that now. Mary Hill Station is six minute walk and in the west of Scotland the Science Park. Right on. And we're at the Science Centre, as you can see behind us. Again, the route isn't particularly clear here and uh, we're following it now up to the main road. And with my view ranger map, we head up to the main road, turn left, and then right at the roundabout. So when we get an appropriate time, we'll cross the road. West of Scotland Science Park. Well, let's see where that takes us. Presumably to the left, heading doing a diagonal back across to the, the River Kelvin. Turning right at the roundabout, straight through the small roundabout and following on. Park we head here until we we see a group of houses, trees, and then we hang a left. <laughs> I 
Hi. Back to orienteering and navigation skills. So this is off a, a View Ranger digital map. I haven't got a hard map with me. I think next time I'll uh, I'll print off <laughs> uh, sections of the map as well, so we can get compass bearings from it. Yeah. Looks like a bus terminus. It's a you save convenience store. So we've just passed this construction site, past the U-Save. Uh, road continues onwards and then to the left is this little pathway. That's what the digital map, the e-map is telling us. So we'll, so we'll follow that and see how successful if this is a journey. Uh, there's no signage, so all being well, as per the map, it looks as if this is the way to, to head and to go. A tight country pathway. Overgrown, as we can see. Multi stories in the distance. The sun's put its hat on again. Heavy rain overnight, so pathway is quite muddy. Not running today. Today is a, a slow, steady one. Oh, looks like we had some mountain bikes along the way. One must say, at times, those that have passed me have been. Uh, how can we put it tactfully? I've not been very gracious. It's as if they own the road and pedestrians should get out of the road. Ah, it's pretty muddy. Just as well I've got my waterproof socks on. This is a great one, this doesn't look as if there's going to be any easy way around it. Wow. <laughs> Ankle deep the journey. The whole way is pretty flooded. Quite a trail. Oh, it's probably a gap over the ankles now. 
Yeah. Very deep there. Got a reading now. <laughs> Not let me in the jungle. Aye. Right, no point in morning about it. Let's go for it. Hopefully we're on the right trail. <laughs> yes, that's been rather interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's uh, the joys of this time of year. Uh, a lot of rain and uh, also I've been very fortunate. This is also the time of midges. Uh, shouldn't speak too soon, but oh, here we are. We're back to the River Kelvin. Yes, that's been the correct road. By gum, I'm a bit overflowing or flooded. This pathway is like a classic. It's not the upgrade pathway that we've seen going through Glasgow, uh, which was a lot of asphalt and gravel as well. Now we're into traditional uh, trekking. traditional trails. Quite humid. I think the weather's due to be about 20 degree, degrees C today. Yeah, it's fine. So I'll see how the time goes. Might get a little running, a little jogging soon. Now we're in softer underfoot. And with our golf course across the way. It's nice and meandering the way the Kelvin is. Just fine. It's a bit duller now, the sun has uh, put its hat on. It's, uh, See if it stays dry. As we've seen, it's been pretty wet yesterday and a little flooding. Looks like it's opening out a little. Yeah. We're coming to, I think it's a Roman fort, it's the Antonine Wall we'll be coming to in a little while. So we'll see what there is to be seen. And my friend Alan Craig, <laughs> who used to work with many years ago on Knightswood Fire Station. And I had done the Nijmegen walk with him a number of times. And he was a great advocate of... Antonine Wall and Roman history that was associated with it. Not really pleasant. There it go. Now away from the, the riverside, or just out of the tree line and into the, the wider open countryside. Looking at this I probably could have brought my drone to this area. The rest of the area is it's a no, a no drone flying zone between uh, major airport of Glasgow and helicopter uh, landing areas. However, 
another day, another time. The low, low, low parts flooded pretty badly. There we are, beautiful. Uh, the golf course on the other side. Meandering. And now we're back to the... Clap, clap. And now we're back within the canopy and to the beautiful wildflowers. nature once more well if I was a singer I would sing you a song these are the hills and the mountains and the glens. It's a uh, aye, lightness in the step today. And I've now got my trusty walking poles out and keep this going. Today is an experimentation of kits and tools. It's a while since I've been out uh, walking. That's a balance between walking and what would be appropriate for running the trails, uh, particularly photographic gear. Uh, once I'm fit enough, it's back to ultra running again, and it's lighter is better and faster. And the better photographic gear have all got a, a weight to them. And having lightweight, it's easy to move rapidly and take hopefully good photographs along the way with lightweight kit. Yes, the flies and are coming out, the bees and a few midges are out now. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. This is Scotland. Meandering from the hills again. And it got faster and faster the nearer the city it got. And very turbulent round about the botanic gardens. A restoration work or Scottish water doing work to enhance and improve the, the habitats. Nice to see the, the bees out. We're leaving, we're leaving Balmudi Woods, heading across the Roman Fort to the other side of the road. <laughs> uh, where does the pathway, it's over there. So we've crossed the road, can't see the <laughs> Roman fort at the moment, uh, heading towards this rather dubious pathway. This looks like it, 
For the rest of the uh, Kelvin Walkway, it looks as if we are on the south side of the, the river. Looking over the countryside, south side of the river looks quite badly flooded. And they head down these rickety looking stairs. Now we're heading through some <laughs> pretty thick foliage. It looks as if it's been flooded, quite muddy, as if the river itself has been uh, actually over this pathway, flooded it. And it's only recently, really overnight, it's been draining. Yeah, this is pretty badly overgrown. Aye, a far difference from this morning in the, the through Kelvin Grove Park Botanic Gardens. With all the joggers and their designer gear. The Kelvin is quite flooded as we can see. This gives a good sense of how much <laughs> the banks are overflowing. And we can see the it's muddy underfoot here, they're quite tight. And that's where the, the banks have been through. It's been flooded over this pathway. Which is great for the, uh, the fauna. And of course, <laughs> inevitably, <laughs> there we go, Jim. Weedy, weedy time. In fact, it's not even weedy time. The, the river is actually oh, coming through it. Well, that was a wee trip and fall. Is <laughs> that busy watching the river that's coming in inside of us? Let me clear you. And we just see it here. So we're going to have to bypass it. Well, we're now a wee bit higher, which is fine. Makes life a wee bit easier rather than uh, <laughs> swimming in the mud. <laughs> uh, we're now at a uh, slightly, uh, it's elevated quite a wee bit. You can see in the distance. Aye, that's better. We'll be able to. And actually, we're meandering away from the, the river. I'm not quite sure if this is it, and then heading back to Mogai. Uh, we can catch a glimpse of the, the floodings through the trees. It's <laughs> quite a distance. I'm not sure if that's Bear's Den in the distance. Uh, it probably is. We must be within a couple of miles of Mulgai now. Uh, we, we hang a left from the, the Kelvin shortly and then head in towards Mulgai. Well, that's uh, the river getting a lot narrower now, and we can see the flooding on this side. It's hardly moving, the river is hardly moving on the right side. Houses and traffic up ahead as we come back into civilization. And another water hazard to follow. That's how having the, uh, the poles is really useful for this type of activity. So we're back to broadening uh, out a little now. 
which is fine. A welcoming from the, the birds, saying hello to its area. Well, I've just came underneath the motor, not motorway, underneath the roadway and to be greeted with a sign, Welcome to Eastern Bartonshire, take care, be safe. And then, lo and behold, had a slippy underpass full of uh, uh, mud. But here we go, we're back onto a reasonable pathway again. On on. As we're heading further and closer, <laughs> further from Glasgow, closer to Mogai, well, I can see Mogai in the distance. We've opened up, we can see a lot of flies rising within the, the water, the flooding. It's looking fine. An elevated pathway, which is good. And here we have some cows for bath. <coughs> Excuse me. Another pollen. Vibrant colours. Let's see the looks there. <laughs> Padding about. Hello, hi up. Well, this is us heading out to Main Road. Not quite sure where we're coming out, whether it's Bears Den or Mogai. Uh, we still have the, the local tributary to the Kelvin to our right. Let's go, let's see what is over the horizon in that sense. Oh, what's at this Main Road? West Highland Way, 15 minutes, Mogai Town Centre, Allender Way. Well, that's where we've been coming along. 15 minute walk to the station. To the left, yes. For the sense where we are now. Head up towards the station and uh, we'll head up to the West Highland Way, which will be the next. <laughs> this will be the next Z Trail and a continuation of our Great Western Way. There we are. West Highland Way, 10 minute walk. And that's us. That's us back into Mogai in itself. Delightful day, great day. Uh, started off tremendous warm weather and then from time to time it uh, darkened over the likes we have just now. But uh, all in all, beautiful day. 
a wee bit uh, muddy as we can see at times up to knees with uh, coming through the water but apart from that it's been tremendous oh no Morning, hi there. And now we have 